Hey, thanks so much for speaking to us. These protests are continuing. The laws continue to receive international condemnation. But where do you think the government really stands now? Would you expect Narendra Modi and the BJP in particular to reconsider their position on this? Well, uh, uh, we really don't know what is the government's position right now because Narendra Modi was uh, busy in campaigning in a state election right now. Just uh, uh, two days back during a, uh, during a speech, he said that you can identify the protesters from their dress. What kind of racist remark is this? I mean, when there is a, there is a uh, wave of protests going on throughout India, and uh, uh, this kind of racist remark uh, came from a prime minister of India, so I was astonished. I mean, I really condemn this police brutality in Jamia Media in Islamia University, one of the premier universities in nation's capital. And this is the same university which once played an important role uh, during the freedom struggle of India. And now the government is asking them to prove their citizenship. Their forefathers decided not to, uh, not to migrate Pakistan uh, during the partition of India back in 1947, they decided to stay in India, and now the government is asking them to them to prove their citizenship. So this citizenship bill actually actually is a racist and very discriminatory bill. And if you if you see the statement from from uh, the United Nations recently, and they also uh, requested the Indian government to scrap, uh, to scrap this new law, because this is a racist law, and uh, people all over the uh, world, they're comparing this new citizenship bill with uh, the 1935 Nuremberg race law, or you can compare it with the Jim Crow law, which was very, uh, very uh, anti-black right. discriminatory law. Let, let me ask you this, though. Uh, I don't know if you heard Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan speak uh, before the Global Refugee Conference in, in Geneva a few hours ago, warning the world that this very policy instituted by Narendra Modi uh, will create more displaced people, he said, specifically Muslims, and that Pakistan would be left to deal with a potential refugee crisis. Do you think Imran Khan is, is perhaps reaching too far, or, or is he being prescient here? Are the laws such that Muslims will feel they have to leave India? Well, uh, I'm, not, uh, I, I'm not aware about uh, what uh, Imran Khan has said uh, a couple of hours back, but I, I definitely believe that, uh, uh, that uh, this law will, will turn Indian Muslims as a second-class citizen in a Hindu state. So, uh, so, I mean, you tell me which country will accept that huge amount of population? Is it Bangladesh, Pakistan? No one is going to accept us. And uh, the government can't simply throw, out, uh, throw us out from the country. So, uh, so what will happen? There will, be a, there will be a trauma, there will be anxiety, there will be a protest, there will be, there will be discrimination, this kind of police will burst into the protesting students. So there will be a state of chaos, actually. So this will lead us nowhere. And there is already, I mean, there is already uh, terror and disruption caused by another thing called National Register of Citizens. And then this Modi government uh, passed this bill. So they have, uh, so there is, a, there is a question, just is India becoming a Hindu nation? In, a, in, a, in 21st century, when secularism and democracy our, is our value, our principle, which guide us to rule a country, is India going back towards 1,000 uh, thousand years? I don't know if, whether in 1,000 uh, uh, years back they discriminate the minorities or not. But uh, if you see the series of laws passed in parliament in recent days, be it triple talaq law or imposing a state of emergency uh, on Kashmir, scrapping their autonomy. And look at the situation in Kashmir. It's very, it's very volatile. I mean, the situation, I mean, they, uh, they, I mean, there is no internet, there is food shortages, no examination, no classes. So is Indian government trying to impose this Kashmir model on the uh, Muslims living uh, other parts of India? So okay. I think, uh, I think, yeah. Uh, Shanawaz, Ali Raihan, we're going to have to leave it there. I'd like to thank you so much.
uh, for joining us from the UK. We appreciate it.